Oh, we're playing Canada. We're playing on deity difficulty. Um, and the fun thing about Canada, is it is, it does lend itself really well to pacifist um, gameplay because you can't declare surprise wars. You can't be declared on in surprise. In fact, we've only had one war so far. Alexander over here finally started a war with us. I mean, Alexander, where? Oh, these these are not these are not Macedonian cities. No, that's not one. That's not one. That's not one. This isn't one. That's not one. That's not one. Oh, here are Alex's cities. And they're nice and ready to revolt as well. Um, yeah, so uh, Alex started a war. We finished it. Uh, we did officially peace out because we knew that these guys were having some uh, some societal pressure here. We actually have a Golden Age going on. He's got a Dark Age going on. So I think that will be the end of Alex whenever those cities flip over there. How difficult is Planetfall to get into if you don't have any Age of Wonders experience? Uh, probably not too much, especially if you've had any experience with other 4X kind of strategy games, right? If, you're, if you've played Civ or anything like that. I mean, the mechanics are quite different, but the sort of thought processes are the same, if that makes sense. Uh, hey, cool man! Caramel is the greatest candy ever. I agree. It's very good. Also, we need more Canadian nuclear bombs. Yeah, we're going to talk about in that sec. Uh, that spread friendship and kindness to all friends and allies. Caramel is really good. Another uh, a, a chocolate bar that I really like here, and I don't know if you can get them all over the place, um, is Coffee Crisp. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, and of course, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups as well. Very, very, very tasty. I mean, obviously not exclusive to Canada, but I do know that those are not available all over the place. Um, Reese's for a long time were really hard to find in the UK, although I think now they're they're a bit more common. And I don't know about um, I don't know about uh, Coffee Crisp. I don't know like where it originated and where it's common or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know my candy brands or anything like that. Um, but I don't think you can find it usually in the US. I'm not sure you can find it in. Um, in the ook either although one of the things i do like that you can get in the ook that has a similar name is toffee crisp not to be confused with coffee crisp which is what i'm talking about toffee crisp holy cow that stuff's delicious and we need to be able to get any of that over here wow esoteric that sounds interesting <laughs> oh so yeah here we are in canada it is the year 1876 um, we are now leading in science. We actually always were doing surprisingly well in science for deity. Normally I talk about how on deity, because the AI starts with so many advantages, they start with free four, uh, free, four free techs, civics, plus they get like a 40% boost or something, their science, their production output and everything like that. They start with three settlers. Like they start with such an edge that generally speaking, the only way you can kind of catch up on deity is what I normally say, is through warfare, because then you get to take advantage, even though you still have, you know, you'll probably be a little bit behind on science and you'll be a little bit behind on the actual production of military units, you can use your superior human tactical brain um, to to try to, to beat the AI in a war. But we didn't really do that here. We did go and take Alexander over here, but our science was good basically the entire game, which is, uh, which is interesting. Military-wise right now, our strength is okay. Germany is pretty strong, as is China. Now we're allied to China. Although things can change. We are not allied with Germany um, because we actually can't. We, there's five alliances in the max. Plus, Germany has always been a little cranky pants with us over here. People are going to be a little crankier as well because we did take a ton of cities in this war. Um, we do have a pretty decent navy, though. Um, I think a lot of it's deployed over here. We're going to be redeploying things uh, very shortly to guard this coast because Germany is really the person I'm the most concerned about over here. Because in this era, even though they can't declare surprise wars, it's quite easy to get various uh, cost the spell line and things like that. There's a lot of technology unlocked that they can probably use to do that sort of thing. We do have access to the uranium. We have 66 stockpiled right now. We're accumulating six per turn at this time um, and a maximum stockpile of 280. We could build giant death robots, but I don't think that's the best use of uranium. I think the best use of uranium might be to accumulate a few defensive atomic bombs. Um, one thing I just noticed right over here with Furious George, I want to buy this tile. One, two, three. Ah, it is four away from Ganju, but I really want to make sure we don't lose this tile because if we do, and if the borders with China close, we won't be able to walk through here very conveniently. So I'm just going to go ahead and purchase that tile right now so that we don't run into that problem. Also notice we have a whole lot of faith, so we're going to be taking a look at that in a moment. Uh, we've got plenty of hockey arenas built all over the place here, uh, giving us potentially some bonus culture, depending on if they're being worked or not. I'm not really going around um, min-max in the tile production. I mean, other than maybe the first couple of turns of the game, I don't tend to really look at the tiles that are being individually worked because, you know, just in the interest of time and speed. Although, if you want to do better... 
on higher difficulties like Deity, that's certainly one of the things to do is double checks on the production, what's being worked, what you might want to improve as quickly as possible, that sort of thing. What's the wall thing next to the tile you just bought? Right here, this is a flood barrier. So we've got a bunch of those here, here. So with Gathering Storm, one of the things that can happen is sea levels can rise. Uh, for example, right here, this is a flooded tile. So, um, because the water or the environment uh, right over here, uh, the ice caps have melted almost completely. Every time I open up the screen, I'm like, I need to play Fate of the World. And the thing is, people in the household have been playing Fate of the World a bunch recently. Um, Essential's playing it almost every day. It's a lovely game because it's so hard. I, I, I kind of have to do a video or stream it or something relatively soon. Um, so yeah, the climate change is pretty severe right now. If we look at CO2 level contribution, so we're in white over here. We actually are the biggest slice of emissions at this point. Um, which kind of makes sense because we are also the biggest. Uh, we've only just recently unlocked the ability to build solar panels. We're working on wind farms over here, so we may do a little bit of replacement um, of some things. We have some oil power plants as well that we may cycle out of. Um, but if we've got a bunch of flood barriers up, then maybe we don't care about it all that much. Whew. Are we good to play? I think we're good to play. Um, Victory-wise... Uh, it would have been nice to maybe do a diplomatic victory, but we're not really making any progression that way. The thing is, as Canada, you actually have quite a bit of an advantage, a bit of an edge for diplomatic stuff, but we haven't been able to really execute that. And we'd, be, we'd probably be able to do it, but it might take a while. More likely, I'm thinking of going for science. Now, if we're looking at science, as per usual, the AI did start up a little bit ahead. Hey, even Alex launched a satellite over here. Interestingly enough, Alex no longer has a spaceport. I don't know how that happened, you guys. <clears throat> Um, and China here has launched a satellite as well as done the first moon landing. But the AI will often, I find, sort of get these a little bit early, especially with its tech edge over us. Um, but while we start a little bit later, we often, you know, by the time we get around to doing space stuff, we focus everything on it. So, like, they did this early because they could, but they're still far away from the late game tech. Whereas at some point, we'll just go boom, 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 satellite, uh, moon, Mars, boom, win, yay! Excellent kind of thing. So that tends to happen fairly speedy. We'll see, especially now that we do have a research base set up or um, a launch pad set up. Uh, we do need quite a bit of tech to go there. Uh, culture, we're not, or domination. Uh, we're not going to go for a domination victory because, you know, we do that sometimes, but we're not going to do that this time. Uh, religion is the one we're kind of going to, kind of going to have to be afraid of. Phil over here is spreading Catholicism pretty aggressively. So what we may want to do is we may want to make sure we develop, we get, uh, what do we have over here? Confucianism? Do we have anything else? We have a little mix of religions over here. I think we're going to have to make some uh, Confucius um, religious units, convert more of our cities over to Confucianism, and defend against Catholicism. Because right now, if Freddy and Cyrus fell to Catholicism, that would be a win for, for Phil. So we've got to keep a, an eye on that. Um, Culture-wise, Freddy is moving forward... Uh, but he's still currently 151 turns away. This does tend to go very quickly, though, because a lot of tourism, like a lot of the source of tourism, comes in late in the game. And so this just shoots up pretty dramatically. So we'll have to keep an eye on Freddy over there. But um, we're not, we're certainly not out of the woods. Like there's a lot of ways we could still lose. Um, but I'm pretty happy about our position right now. I don't feel terribly far behind. So, boom. All right, we good? Excellent? Lovely. Let's hit next turn. What mod shows Civ resource production? So I'm running... <laughs> I just kick your bronze nipples all over the place, dude. And your last two cities are about to rebel to me. But he's like, no, you refuse to fight for your people. What, because I peaced out with you like two turns ago? After slaughtering your stuff? Oi. You're down to one city with name Alex in it. Don't push your luck there, buddy. Well, it doesn't matter. They're going to fall soon anyway. Oh, what I want to check. We do have a lot of faith. I did want to, <coughs> excuse me, check on great people very quickly. Um, We are... No, China's going to get Sergei here in two turns. Um, I mean, Shine will probably get the next person or whatever, but I guess we'll go and pick this up. We are going to need to use Faith to purchase our religious people to stop us from losing the religious game as well. Um, I think... Oh, I've got a ton of money. I'm going to buy Estee Lauder here. 
Although, hold on, we're gonna get her in six turns. Congo might buy her. I would like this. I would like two more amenities here. They're actually really good amenities at plus six. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this one with money. Now, faith-wise, let's take a little look. If we were looking at the religious map mode, I think we saw some of these cities over here had some, um, yeah, religious spots. So right here, let's get um, let's get some apostles for Confucianism out of nerdy chick. One and two. Okay, that's gonna be good. All right, meanwhile, uh, in over here in Green Eyes, we finished the Ferris wheel. I'm building a water park just because. It is gonna give us a little bit of amenities, which is gonna be nice, and apparently uh, maybe a little bit of science, which is gonna be okay. Mostly I was building it just so that we would have it, because who doesn't love an amusement park? Furious George, I am gonna get a food market here as well for extra growth, that's gonna be okay. Um, so we're still finishing a lot of sort of outstanding things in a few of these places. Um, but, oh, actually, you could really use a flood barrier. Um, Tiana. 78 turns. Wow, your production sucks. Alright, work on the shipyard for now. It'll be okay. I'll have to maybe get some more trade routes coming out from you. We'll go with the arena. The arena. So amenities, a lot of the places are at zero. Some places are negative. Uh, Furious George, so this trade route... Um, no, I need to repeat this. Because I have trade routes going to each one of my allies. Now, this trade route in Bedinsis isn't going anywhere right now. So I will go ahead and just move you to Thiana. So that we can... Um, yeah, I wanted it here for a reason. Oh, yeah, because your actual production rate sucks too. Well, I guess that's going to have to be okay. Well, that can't be repaired. Oh, because that's a district. Right, right, right. There, go over there. All right. Fight me IRL, Alex. Finish Alex for error score. Uh, we may... But the thing is, he is going to get finished. I don't know if we'll get credit for it exactly. These two cities are going to rebel. Eight turns, two turns. And they'll go neutral for a while, um, but then they'll probably flip to me. What I can do with my ships, rather than wait for things to flip, is I, I will probably move my navy down here to just re to take those cities uh, by force. All right, we've got a spy here, Valerie, with no promotions. What we're going to want to do more than anything is slow down other people. Um, or actually, we probably want to steal more tech is what we want to do. I think that's going to be the plan. So I don't remember if we promised not to spy on anyone. You know what? Germany already dislikes us, so we'll do that. Yes, we can steal tech boosts. Excellent. Because a lot of the late game tech boosts can only be gotten from stealing. So we are going to want to do that. All right. We got to think about our builder charges here because, yeah, I do want to get more solar power because we're going to be building more and more buildings in various places that need solar power to or that need power to get their maximum boost. And we want to do it this way through solar power instead of power plants. Um, it's just solar farms aren't literally the best tiles, but that's going to be OK. It's not like there's a farming triangle possible there or anything like that. Battleship to down there. I won't get error score if they, we do that, if we flip. But we're not going to start another war. They're going to give us Civitris. That that sounds fine. We'll get some more luxuries here. We could certainly use some. Can you slow down with religious spread too with spies? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you can target religious buildings or anything like that with spies. I may be wrong, but I'm not sure. I'm going to refuse deal. You're not, uh, first of all, that's not a very good deal. And secondly, I don't think you're going to be on, able to honor it in a few turns when your empire ends. It is obvious that while science is struggling to bring heaven to earth, some men are using its materials in the construction of hell. Um, the workable tile thing should come up. Hold on. And a certain inflexible precision. Culture, culture. I really like building the Bolshoi. We may want to make some policy changes. Yeah, when I have a builder selected, sometimes the, uh, the lens doesn't always uh, toggle immediately. Um... Oh, I guess that was the last charge. Anyway. Uh, nanotechnology. Okay, this unlocks the launch Mars colony, and we do have it boosted, but it's not really the priority. I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up nuclear fission over here so we can work on the Manhattan Project. Because should things go sour, we may have to drop a few nukes on people. Friendship nukes, but you know, still. Uh, I could buy a naturalist, although rather than do it with faith, I can build mounties. And I don't have a mounty yet. Maybe I won't buy one maybe or maybe i won't build one maybe i'll just buy one which should give us air score who else but canada could create the mountie and who can possibly resist it 
So that gives us Aeroscore, score, and we can use it to build a national park as well, rather than using Faith to buy naturalists, which is kind of nice. Um, you do need some housing. You don't have a sewer yet, but building a neighborhood is probably a good idea. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll put it here. And we've got some more envoys. We've got three available. We could take over a suzerain of Nan Madal. Districts next to Coaster Lake give us extra culture. That is probably worthwhile. We could also build monasteries. I don't know, just unlocking this for just flat, just culture boost is pretty useful. Plus, setting uh, Freddy would be useful. Convince city-states levied armies to, st to stand down. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. Where someone had levied city-state units, and then we went and recruited them. And we got error score for that. That's cool. Alright, Sergey, you're gonna chill for now. Um, oh, I guess it won't highlight the launch place. We must have one, though. Since Alex clearly had one, and then we took it over. It's a campus. Oh, is it right here? Yeah, spaceport. Okay, it's not highlighted. Normally, um, it would highlight the tile, but we don't actually have a project going. So you're just going to chill there until we start the project in Nerdy Chick. Este Lauder here uh, has to be sent to a commercial hub. And then we'll create perfume for us. Nice. Okay. Religious units, spread religion... Translator, that's other civilizations. Three extra spread, one move next to a natural wonder. Religious combat. Um, we'll probably do the more spreads, because I don't think there's any opposing units sitting around for now. What we're going to do, there's a natural wonder down here. So I'm going to move you next to this so that you can get your three extra spreads. Oh, you got the same thing. All right, Pilgrim. Are there two stations? There might be two space stations. That's possible. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're looking for production for Theana here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just send you to a high production site. Oh, right, we did change to things. Now we're getting eight production from these international trade routes. Or trade routes with our allies. Sort of kind of one and the same for us. This could have modified the government too. But yeah, we're running a democracy. So our trade routes to allied cities, plus four food, plus four production. Amazing. We have public works running right now. And I think we kind of want to keep it going and we want to do some more builders. And yeah, allied trade routes. Yeah, I think we're going to keep focusing on that. International trade routes and stuff. Uh, oh, you're actually hurt. Oh, but you have a promotion. Uh, this is deity, yes. So you would like one perfume. You'll give us a little bit of money. Sure. And the open borders might be actually convenient over here. So what the heck. And yeah, we have control over this little narrow canal here, which is very important. Well, not a canal, but passageway. I don't know what you'd call that. Channel, I guess. Somehow, you somehow, for some unknown reason, had a copy of Planetfall in your Steam library? How could this have happened? Oh! Oh, is this sarcasm? I see. Mm-hmm. Um, we can send aid, which as Canada, we actually get better benefits from, but you can see these guys are just doing it like crazy. So who cares? We don't need diplomatic power. It's going to be fine. Um, I might build another Mountie and try to make at least two. I don't know. The thing is, it'll be tricky enough to get a, um, a national forest or a national park built in the first place. I don't think we need any of this. The Eiffel Tower is actually kind of handy, but far from required. I might build one more spaceport. Scorpiot's production at 65 isn't bad, actually. If we compare other cities, 82, 64, 108. I mean, it's far from the highest, but it's not... It's not bad. I guess it, it's sort of in the middle. But yeah, it's definitely not bad. And this is just a three food tile. It's on Tundra. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. All right, you keep working on your harbor. 
Uh, definitely work on your zoo, because we still need more amenities overall. Uh, Krokenstein over here does need housing. I'm going to go and buy the granary so you can grow. And then you're going to come way down here and repair your outer defenses. And there's our Mountie. Now, if we have a naturalist, it actually will highlight tiles where we could build a natural park um, with my more lenses. We actually might be able to force that lens on, actually. Yeah, the naturalist lens. The problem is, I was going to say, we probably don't have a spot where we can build it because it has to be um, an unimproved kind of spot. Right? I think so. National Park. Let's see here. I don't remember if it needs a certain beauty. Tiles must be natural wonders, mountains, or tile with an appeal of charming or better. Must be owned by the same city. And a vertical diamond. Thing is, we have this here. If, um... No improvement or district. If we were to pop the plantation here and remove this we could build a national park right here and i think it might be worthwhile so with uh lucky or bucky here there you go so all four of these tiles are now owned by the same city but i think we'd have to get rid of the plantation um we might be able to do something on tundra as well i don't know what lens mode we're in right now I think I'm just going to do this one. All right, we got a spy. This is Valerie. Oh, right. You've got to gain some sources. And then we're going to go and screw up some people's fun. Um, we should be able to build railroads, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's... Maybe I should have left it there, and we'll just build some more railroads and finish things up. Sergey, you're going to sit there, because we don't actually run a science program yet. This spy here, Rosalie. Breach dams, ace driver, demolitions. Okay. Okay. We're just going to send you... I'll send you to Berlin. We'll just spy all over Germany. There you go. These guys have now popped to be independent. There's your destroyer over there, which is lovely. And a battleship to swing over here. I guess technically that's in combat range. Um, do we have a great admiral? We did for a while. I just don't remember if I popped it. Is this... Would this actually go to the Congo? I think that's what it's showing there. Well, heck. Oh, there's my Admiral. Can I shoot it from here? Okay. Or oh, a little Ranger over here. Is it possible it's run out of things to explore? I think it might have, actually. I think I'm just going to go ahead and delete this ranger. So we don't have to pay maintenance for it. It's not much, but yeah, I think it's time. And we're going to build a bunch of fisheries here, thanks to Liang. Oh, check appeal first over here. It should be pretty good, because it's next to this. Yeah, it's breathtaking. It only has to be charming, which I think is a two or a three. Um, so it's really good here, because it's not next to any mines, and it's next to a natural wonder. So this tile should be perfectly fine. Uh, oh, this is the destroyer fleet. Right, you wait there. Um, artillery corps. I think I'd sent you back. I probably actually should leave you over here so we could take these cities more quickly. Oh, I guess I was already sending you that way. Oh, right. That, that's what happened. Those guys are coming from way over here. It's breathtaking. You're breathtaking. Thank you very much, uh... Keanu Moanis. Moanis K. The K is for Mo uh, Keanu, right? Um, yeah, I'll take this. We can take some luxuries. The rock bands are so loud. Just me, are they like louder than everything in the game? Even nukes. I guess their speakers go to 11 or something. Ah, we stole nuclear fission, which gives us a boost to the thing we're researching, which is really handy. I like that. All right, um, yes, you can make more military units here, but I don't think that's what our plan is. Apparently, we can get more traders, so with that in mind, actually, it may come way over here to Bidensis. I will purchase a trader over here. Can I have more than one?
No, we don't have trader up capacity, nor the money. Okay, that's fine. Um, so air actually has... Pr 51 is actually not a crazy good production, but it's okay. I think we'll get you to start the Manhattan Project. We can build it somewhere faster, but that's okay. I don't think we need it super fast. Now, I could convert... Oh, this is this actually on coal power? 